The next step is you're going to go do some assessments and then we'll come back together and we'll design up a, a exercise routine. Perfect. That sounds great. Thanks so much for the help, Matt. I have been using the force board for rehab for some flexor tendons lately and things are starting to feel better. I'm getting back into climbing, so I'm going to try my assessments finally. I'm going to start off with the peak force assessment, which measures how hard you can pull for three seconds on a 20 millimeter edge. So let's see. <laughs> okay. My max was 201 pounds and my average over the three seconds was 169 pounds. Pretty good. We're gonna move on to the next assessment now, which is the critical force assessment on the 20 millimeter edge, where you perform max effort seven three repeaters for five minutes straight. So I'm ready to get completely worked. This simulates a route basically. So pull for seven seconds, rest for three seconds, on repeat for five full minutes. Though. I'm starting to notice that like as I get weaker, it's like pretty consistent though, in, like how weak I am. And I can't pull that hard because my wrists and elbows and fingers hurt. Oh, okay, I'm done. Oh, ow. <laughs> it hurts so bad. <laughs> I just finished the critical force assessment. It was exhausting. So now I get to look at my data and see. So this was really tiring. The first set of six reps um, was definitely the best. After those initial six reps, things went downhill. But in this first set, I was able to pull a max of 147, which is quite a lot lower than my max of 201 because I knew I was gonna be doing this over and over and I didn't wanna hurt myself. But my average was 99 through those six reps. In minute two, my max was 95, average was 63. So my average definitely started to dip, got a little better. Um, at the very end, and I really gave it my all in that very last rep to see what I had left in the tank. But yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's pretty steady around like 50. So I'll have to think about this more.